Welcome to Know Your Mobile, it's Basler here talking you through the HTC One's camera user interface and functionality in general. Now it's a 4 megapixel camera on the back, but that doesn't sound impressive. You're wrong, it's very impressive. It's 4 megapixels, but it's really 4 ultra pixels. What ultra pixel is, it's just a large megapixel. So when we say 4 megapixels, we are correct, but that makes people think it's lame. It isn't lame, it's amazing. It's got optical image stabilization on the camera as well, um, on top of this cool mode called Zoe mode, which tries to reimagine the picture. It's an ambitious, ambitious feat, but let's see if HTC can do it. Kicking things off with the user interface, we can see it's quite traditional. You've got gallery on your top right. You can take a simple picture by tapping the picture button, or record a video by, indeed, pressing the video button tap video again and you can see it's pretty quick to save a video, pretty quick to take a picture, really nice and snappy, all part of the imaging experience. You can also add a filter to your image and this is quite something we've seen from HTC before so we're not going to go into too much depth on it but you can see a lot of fun effects here that are usually pretty customizable. You can change the size of these little dots. There you go. If we tap on filter, kill it. We can see on the left side you've got flash toggle, a Zoe mode button. If we tap it, we'll take a Zoe. A Zoe, if anyone doesn't know, is a combination of pictures, photos, 3.6, sorry, pictures and video. It's a 3.6 second full HD video. Um, and it's coupled with the pictures to A, give you a choice of pictures or video, and B, to create Zoe highlights. Zoe highlights will come on to later. But to give you a quick nutshell, and they're a really nice montage that pull videos and pictures together with a filter and some music and give it a little ambience. Down below that you can see an options button. Here you can toggle between front and main camera which you can also do by simply swiping down. Hello, swipe up again or down. You can see we're back to the regular camera. We can also see scene modes which if we tap through on we can have a drop down portrait, landscape, etc., text, macro, HDR, blah, blah, blah. Um, the key scene modes, night, HDR, um, and sweet panner on, which isn't really a scene mode, are all available at the touch of a button very, very quickly without having to open that separate menu. You've also got some scene modes for video capture, slow motion video, fast HD video, and full HDR video. Now the full HDR video we found works really, really badly in this lighting. Um, so we can take a look and you can see there will be some banding if we start recording video. Um, not ideal at all. We're gonna guess that HTC are gonna be working on a fix for this. Uh, really blows out. Um, so we wouldn't recommend using the HDR video just yet. HTC, hopefully, if you've seen this, you'll be able to get a fix for that on the way. But the regular video works incredibly, incredibly well, especially with that optical image stabilization. So one of the first things we're going to do is undo what we just did and switch off HDR video. Scrolling down a little further, you can actually see an option. You can select the um, aspect ratio of your pictures, select the quality of your video, full HD, HD or MMS, you can select the review duration, image adjustments, image adjustments by the way include exposure, contrast, saturation and sharpness and um, we'd probably recommend uh, bumping up the saturation by one if you're in low light um, but otherwise it tends to be pretty on point, maybe a little under saturated, a little under contrasted but there is a photo editor on here so you can tweak them after the pictures are taken. You've also got some uh, camera options, sorry we missed a uh, few things. Um, we missed ISO, ISO goes up to a maximum of 1600 which is sweet for a camera phone. You've got continuous shooting, um, I think it's 6 frames per second. Uh, camera options, face detection, auto smile capture, geotag. You've got a grid that you can overlay so that you can play by the rule of thirds. You've also got an option to auto upload images and this will give you an um, option to send them. I think it's are the default ones Dropbox but we're not entirely sure don't quote us on that and finally if we scroll to the bottom we can reset everything to defaults so that's the HTC camera user interface hope you've enjoyed it we'll just give you a quick demo as to how the actual camera performs now if we take a picture of this very very contentious LG charger here we can see very very effortlessly hopefully that's the plan it's gonna take a picture and 
it's going to be a pretty decent picture. We probably went up too close to that. But if you want full res pictures, just keep your eyes on knowyourmobile.com. I um, have to say, first impressions, we are impressed with the HTC One's camera. Four megapixels it may be, but those megapixels work very hard. Thanks for watching Know Your Mobile. I've been Basil. This has been an HTC One. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to click a like. And if you like our channel, click subscribe.